Today we're going to begin learning about the Lego EV3. And we're going to program it with the Scratch 3.0, just like we did in the last tutorial. We'll go to extensions, just like last time, and go here. But instead of having to connect all of the scratch link and other things, we'll just need to do this since we've already got scratch link installed. If you haven't done it, go back to the last part. We go to events, take the green flag here, and now we have to write our code. To move around from one to another, we go back to extensions, click this, since it's already done, it will just go back to the same extension if it's not appearing on your screen. We're going to make it first and go up. Whoa. That was the wrong direction. We better change it. Otherwise, it will keep on hitting it. That's not good. We have to separate these two lines of code, otherwise they'll run at the same time together. And it'll not be very good. That was very fast. And it moved very quickly up. Now let's try down. Wah! Too fast! We must change it. We have to change this power down to 50. Now, let's try it. But, if we keep this motor turned this way, then it will be really bad and we'll just hit its bottom. So, we turn that way. Still very fast. So, 20. Turn back down. Do this. And now try. Much better. Now, since it's going a little bit too slow, and, to, oh, and it's like this, it might be going a little bit too slow, but we can change how long the motor is running for using this. We'll change this to, change this one also to two. Yep, and two. Now, we will use this and it will go all the way up since it went halfway when we did 10. Woohoo! We've done it! We made our thing work. Now, to control it with arrow keys. Let's first take this. And let's bin this when clicked here. Now, we must have the set power 20 to both of them. But it doesn't really matter much. A shortcut for this is just in doing here and putting this in here. So that's the shortcut for it. It's quite good and reliable. That way makes it, I remember, go up. So we must use the up arrow. Now narrow for this and let's begin. So now it's set power to 20. Now down, our thing's going down, up and down. And as you can see, we've got our elevator fully operational. Woohoo! We've done it. Okay. Bye from this tutorial. Next time we'll be using the micro bit. Okay, see you later. Bye!